All eyes are on Tim Cook and Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference, but last week the tech giant furthered groundbreaking plans when it submitted blueprints and renderings for its new 2.8 million square foot headquarters. One year after former chairman Steve Jobs presented the initial concept to the Cupertino City Council, official plans for the spaceship-looking building are now up for approval. Welcome to Apple HQ in 2015. The futuristic campus looks like a flying saucer and is expected to house about 13,000 Apple employees. That's roughly five times as many employees as Apple's current campus holds. Newly revised floor plans show a four-story curved glass building with a 1,000-seat corporate auditorium where new Apple products will be announced. It also holds a fitness and wellness center, a cafe within the main building, and a 300,000 square foot research facility with its own parking lot. The flying saucer saves on energy costs with a photovoltaic solar panel roof that will be the largest in the western U.S. Landscaping is also a high priority as Apple intends to increase the number of trees on the site from 4,300 to 6,000 and include an apricot orchard. No word yet on whether the campus will include the company's signature forbidden fruit.